Hi, I'm Dr. Rob Butler, and I want you to join me on an adventure to look for some endangered species, some that may be close to extinction. To see these animals, we're going to go to some of the most stunning landscapes on the planet. And to find those animals is going to take all kinds of skills. So I want you to come and explore with me the great circle of life. We're at the University of British Columbia in the Beattie Biodiversity Museum. It's a special place because it's a repository for rare species in British Columbia. And our journey is going to begin here because this is where we're going to see a specimen of the marbled merlet. When I come to the museum like this, it just does something to you as a biologist because here are all these specimens that you've learned through all of your classes and so on and you think there's a long history of this going back to Darwin and Humboldt and all those people that started these early collections. Some of these are close to a century old, some of the specimens, and in some cases, you know, they, they're the only thing that we have left. So this one here was 1928 almost a century ago when this book was written and virtually nothing was known and this little bird was just off Passage Island just near here in Vancouver. So what we have to do is get going and see if we can find these merlets. As we saw back at the museum, the marbled merlet is really in trouble. There's not many of them left. And I've come here to Indian Arm, which is just north of Vancouver, where when I was a kid, I used to see marble merlets. And we're hoping that we might see them here now. It's unlikely, because they've disappeared from many places along the south coast, but our journey will start here where merlets once were, and we'll move up the coast to where there are merlets, and hopefully get into the forest and actually see them. It moves some of the fungi around that connects all the forest roots together and allows these trees to be a forest. We don't really think of it that way. This little tiny slug plays such a big role. So let's see if we can find it. I'm looking at this, I can see that all of these plants are just starting to emerge. All the leaves are starting to come out. It's springtime. And as a result of that, there'll be insects because the leaves are easy to eat. You know, you think about this, that these birds have to fly from Central America or Mexico and get here in time to catch it when these insects come out. You know, the little birds have to do that. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, I can imagine that, like it's eight centuries ago and it gets started and here they are and it still hasn't finished. The forest still is changing. It's just absolutely remarkable when you think. It just makes us feel so minuscule. You know, our lives are so short compared to these. What they have seen and what, they, what they've experienced, it's remarkable. Oh, look at this, look. Vancouver Island marmot. There's only about 300 of them left in the world and they're only on Vancouver Island. There's one of the specimens there. 